Today, we're talking about this phrasal verb and its many different meanings. What's up, everyone? My name's Wes. This is Interactive English, which is the place you want to be to practice and improve your English skills. In today's lesson, we are talking about phrasal verbs. Actually, we're just talking about one phrasal verb, take up, and it's many different meanings. And that's something that's very challenging and difficult when it comes to learning phrasal verbs is that they, they don't just have one meaning. They might have two, three, or four meanings. In this case, I'm going to talk to you about six different meanings of take up. I'm going to tell you the meaning. I will give you some example sentences, and I'll also show you some videos so that you can see how the phrasal verb is used in context. Let's begin. The first meaning of take up is just to start doing something new. It can be a hobby, an activity, and you're doing it because you are interested in this thing. So for example, a, a long time ago, I wanted to play guitar. So I took up playing guitar. If you're interested in gardening, you can take up gardening. Keep in mind that in this case, we follow it with the gerund, that ing noun. So you can take up cooking, Maybe you want to take up running. These are things, activities that you want to do and start. Honey, when did Peter Griffin take up jogging? I mean, I've always wanted to take up golf. The next meaning of take up is just to fill a particular amount of space or time. So let's start with space. And when I think about this, I think about the computer because things on your computer take up space. For example, maybe you have a movie and it's a very large movie. And you're like, wow, that takes up a lot of space. I can't stay with Phoebe Ross, we're, we're roomies. You guys don't need me here taking up all your space. This is my boat. I got it the way I like it. Take up space and you slow me down. If we're talking about time, it's just an activity, something that, that uses your time. For example, learning English. Maybe it's, it's taking up a lot of your time. Maybe it's not taking up a lot of your time. But if something takes up time, it's just using your time. Babies take up a lot of time. Listen, I, I don't want to take up your time. Michael, I thought we agreed to not take up people's time with meetings like these. The next meaning of take up is to accept an offer. So you can take up an offer, in which case you are accepting it. I think oftentimes you would hear it as you take someone up on something. So that's, that's, that's a longer phrase. And typically if you're having a conversation and you're, you're asking this person if they're going to accept this, you don't have to say what something is. Often people would just say that. For example, you're negotiating with somebody and they, they tell you something, you're like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take you up on that. I, I'm going to accept your offer. I'm going to take you up on that. Hey, I might take you up on that. I might take you up on that one day. Absolutely take you up on that offer. Then if we're talking about clothing, we can use take up to say that we want to make it shorter in length. So for example, women might have a dress that they want to make it shorter. It's too long. So they might take it up. Well, what do you think? You need these clothes so badly. Hey, I think they're going to be okay. We'll just have to take them up just a couple of inches. You can also take up a, a question, a problem or cause and, and discuss how you are going to act on it. So you might really believe in something and you are going to continue discussing it or acting on it. And you say, I'm going to take up this cause because I believe in it, or I'm going to take up this issue. Most great actors take up causes and I'm the greatest of them all. Dear, we have to take this up with the police. So why don't you go take that up with him? We can also use take up to say that, that a person or, or a group has, has gotten in a particular place and, and that is where they are. They have taken up a position at this certain location. When I think of it used in this context, I think of uh, maybe war and battles and, and the military and somebody might say, you know, the enemy's taken up position on the other side of the hill. They take up a position somewhere. Look at the food, take up position. Gentlemen, take up your position. So those are six different meanings for take up, but I also wanted to give you some bonus phrases. And the first one is to take up arms. This just means that you are preparing for battle using weapons. So if somebody's taking up arms, they, they are getting ready to fight. There is going to be a battle. We're going to take up arms. 
It's not something you want to hear. It's not a good thing when people take up arms. He will remain in the north where he belongs. He will not take up arms against the Lannisters. He will not choose sides. You can also take up residence somewhere. And if you take up residence, it just means that you live somewhere. This is the place that you live. And often it's, it's temporary. So you're talking about taking up residence in this place for, for some period of time. Yeah, I took up residence at, at this apartment by the lake just for the summer. Or it could be something more permanent. Uh, maybe you're talking about an animal that might be unwanted, that has taken up residence in your home. Maybe mice, you don't want them there, but they, they, they've taken up residence and you, you wanna get rid of them. To take up residence just to live there. And Susan Fleischer takes up residence in a remote farmhouse in Ashton, Oregon. So I, I don't wanna take up any more of your time, but if you enjoyed this lesson and you learned something new, please hit that like button. Also, I suggest that you join our community and, and subscribe to our newsletter. You get to access the secret fluency lesson. Plus, we'll just send you some cool stuff from time to time, some useful and free resources. I hope you take me up on that. Link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.